hungry man storms local church with his dogs in a bid to caution pastor over noise making oh amazing people welcome back into today's video hi i'm Guanike, and you are watching world beauty that video you just saw recently you know when i watched the video a lot of questions were roaming through my mind and one of the questions i asked myself was could it be that the man had earlier reported the church or had earlier reported the pastor and his congregation to the proper authorities like Ministry of Environment, the Estate Management? Another question I asked myself was, can this same guy, can, could, could he as well pack those three dogs to other religious centers aside church could it do could it pack those dogs to a kind of shrine to a kind of mosque and with the same level of confidence and lastly i said to myself did this guy thought about the his action like what if one of those dogs had hurt one of the church members then the situation did he ever thought about the outcome of the situation because apparently he, the case will now be the case of the the victim being later blamed like you cannot use wrong to correct another wrong don't get me wrong. Assuming that the church is wrong by worshipping at the old hour. So let's assume the church was wrong. Now, you now decided to pack three dogs into a church. What if your dogs were violent or something? And in the course of, in course of you trying to make a point, one of your dogs hurts the church member. You can the guy can definitely be sued. He's going to be sued for trespassing. He can also be sued for hurting the church members. Amazing people. Now, it's not that I'm trying to um, support any form of. I'm not supporting anything here. You can join in this conversation. My thoughts don't necessarily have to align with yours, okay? Please join in this conversation. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I was thinking so loud. I was thinking a whole lot of things. Because looking at that video, when the man stormed the church with three dogs, and in that video, we could see him telling the pastor or probably the congregation members that, okay, please lower your vo the volume of your, your speaker lower it or something but instead for them to lower it it seems as if it escalated more like the church members now increased their volume of of prayer it was as if they saw the demon you know in human form it was as if the de demons they've been trying to kind of cast away appear to them in real life and you could see the aggressiveness of the prayers pointing towards the demon in human form that appeared today. Amazing people. Hey, welcome to the motherland, Africa, where we pray about almost everything, especially in Nigeria. We pray about almost everything. We pray about the slightest headache we have. We pray about the slightest cough we have, which is not bad. The Bible is complete. It says pray without season. It's good. But unfortunately, we pray hypocritically here. I must be sincere with you. Because it's okay. You know, it's not bad. Praying, praying together. Praying together is very important. We can pray together. But let it not be to the disturbance of others. The moment you start disturbing other people, then it becomes a kind of noise pollution. I don't know if it is acceptable in other continents of the world, but if it is acceptable, please share in this comment section if you are watching from 
if you're watching outside the continent, Africa, share your thoughts about this particular aspect. Here in Africa, we pray a whole lot. We pray in the morning, we pray in the house, we pray in the evening, which is good. The Bible says pray without season. We can actually, you know, I can be quiet and be making sense and be praying to my God without anybody knowing. During the time of Corona, a lot of us were praying. A lot of us prayed indoors because we couldn't go out there because of the, of the disease, you know. A lot of us were indoors, were praying, and God was answering our prayers. Now, I am not saying we should not join hands, we should not join bodies to pray together. But the moment we start using gadgets that could disturb other people, especially during hot hours, like in the night when people are trying to cut some sleep after all the long hours of work, after all the stress of the day, and what they are hearing is that gadget. You know, it sounds somehow like sometimes I've asked myself that could it be that, you know, when we use a low tone, when we try to place, pray silently, the demons don't go easily. It's always until we violently fight these demons until we raise our voices before these demons can flee totally just maybe i don't know but that's what i've seen here most of us you know we have to make use of gadgets you know even at odd house when people are trying to cast it you're there you know making so much noise around there and without looking at the effects on other people amazing people I am not in support of this guy that stormed the church, you know, with three dogs. I'm not in support. I asked myself, I've, I said earlier, I said, I asked myself the question, like, could it do the same thing to the shrine when he knows that these people instantly, they will bring out something now. And so I don't know, could, could it try the same thing in a shrine? Could it try the same thing in a mosque? Just maybe it could, we never can tell. But I am just asking that, okay. The effort tree had to step into the holy place, which we call the church of God, to be able to to to, to make his point of, 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 of view or to share his point of view. That effort tree or the gods, it takes a whole lot. It's not an easy task. And I must commend him for that. <laughs> But did you even think about the half time out of that? If the dog had hurt any of the church members, then definitely it's not going to be a case of, 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 of being right anymore. It's not going to be a case of complaint anymore because it's going to be sued. If he's sued or charged to court for hurting someone with his dogs or even for trespassing alone, that is a whole lot. Amazing people, can you join in this conversation? What are you talking about this whole thing? It's it, it somehow, you know, when I saw that video, I said, okay, there's a need for me to share. Join in this conversation. Thank you for watching today's video. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, and thank you for watching.